Right, so we've got Mission Planner here, and here we've got my test hexacopter running Argycopter, and here we've got an Express LRS 868 MHz module that's connected to the associated receiver in here. And this is running a fork of Express LRS called Airport, which turns this into a two-way uh, telemetry system instead of a radio control system. Um, which you can use to do things like Mavlink across. So now it is a bit limited on speed, so you have to run it at a 4800 board. So I'm going to connect and we'll see how long this takes. So I'm connecting now, it's trying to connect anyway. When you do this, the module resets. I think I just missed it there. And now it's connected again, which is how it works. And the light starts flickering and then goes back to solid when it does that. So now Mavlink is trying to connect, uh, trying to download these uh, parameter file thing, which does take a while. Uh, but already the HUD and the values on the left have started to update, but they will update quicker once it's finished downloading the parameters, because it is that limited on bandwidth. So this doesn't really give you much of an idea of how long it takes, because it just goes from 0 to 100% all of a sudden. Maybe another 20 seconds or something. Oh, there we go. So it'll still be a bit slow until this window disappears, which will take a little bit while longer. Still connected. Try and get it in focus. Still trying to finish off. Oh, there we go. Now it's finished, it thinks. So, obviously, the GPS signal's not great indoors. But if I start moving it about, hopefully, once it's. Oh, if I move this module a little bit further away, that will help. I don't think it likes being too close. There we go. So, it's not. Perfect. I've set the HUD to try and update at 2 hertz, which I think it can manage, because if you do it too fast, it will struggle to keep up. I had to play about with some of the settings in Mission Planner um, to get that to work smoothly enough. Uh, but I think you could use that for long-range flying, and if you were outside, you would get a good track of where you were via the GPS thing. I think that's 1 hertz I set that to. I turned off a bunch of other stuff to make it this smooth. Uh, you can also do this on 2.4 gigahertz, and then you can run this at, I think, 9,600 board instead, which might give you slightly better results. But, you know, it's, it's working. I just need to test it at long range now. If it works this well at a couple of kilometers, it'll be a very nice system. Let's have a quick look at... I think this is just my laptop being slow now. There you go. So I won't try and change anything, but you could. It's you know, it's, everything works effectively. That's about all there is to it. Make sure it's still. There's a little bit of lag there, but it's for long-range telemetry. That's good enough. 